Part 4 Index Notation You will find this on page 83 in the Namibia Mathematics Grade 8 textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Index Notation In arithmetic, 5 times 5 times 5 is equal to 5 to the power of 3 and 7 times 7 times 7 times 7 is equal to 7 to the power of 4. In algebra, the notation is similar. N times M will be M square. N times N times N will be N cube. O times O times O times O will be O to the power of 4. And P times P times P times P times P will be P to the power of 5. The index or exponent describe how many of the same letters or numbers are multiplied together. In index notation, A to the power of 2, the number A is called the base. This one is the base. And the number 2 is called the index or the exponent. So that little number is the index or the exponent. A power consists of a base and an index. So this together will be the power. The power is actually the answer. Remember that if a number or letter has no index written above it, we know that the index is 1. For example, if you have A and this stands nothing, it's actually saying A to the power of 1. Or if you have 2 and this stands nothing, it's actually 2 to the power of 1. Example 6. Simplify the following. Actually, just write it in index notation. So it's A times A, so that will be A to the power of 2 and B and that one, I will just leave it out. But I will know that there stands a 1. This one, 6 times 2, that will be 12AB. 12AB, divide C, and I prefer to write the C at the bottom as the denominator. And then X divide Y times 4. Now, in this, this case, it's, it's X divide Y. Remember, order of operation. If division comes first, we first do division. So it's x divide y times 4. But don't forget that if you put that 4 over 1, then 4 times x will be 4x, y times 1 will be y. Note, the number should be placed in front. Not x4, but 4x. I want you to stop the video, and I want you to do try now 6 number a, b, and c. And as soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. Okay, let's look at try now 6. Okay, it was B times B times 1 times Q. Now, let's just look. How many P's are there? 2, so it's P to the power of 2, and then Q, and I just leave out that 1. Let's look at the next one, number B. Now, number B will be... 3a times a times 2b divide cd. Okay, so let's just look again at this example. So I think we will first do the multiplication because it's coming first. So it will be 3 times 2. That will be 6. How many a's are there? There are 2. How many b's are there? Just 1. And now comes the division. So divi divide by cd. Remember, in order of operation, if division comes first, we first do division. But if multiplication comes first, we first do the multiplication. And then number C, it is 8x divide y times 3. Now, again, remember your order of operation. So first do the division. So what will that be? That will be, let's just write it, it will be 8x divide y. But then don't forget, I'm multiplying with 3. You can't put it 3 over 1. And now you can say 8 times 3, what will that be? 24x and y times 1, that will just be y. Okay, let's go through example. Just a little bit up. Example 7. Write in expanded form. That, that's actually just doing the reverse. I give you index notation and just write it out. So to make sure that you understand what stands there. So it's 4 multiply x, multiply x, multiply y because this x to the power of 2. 5x squared, that will be 5 times x times x. 
And this one, don't forget, because it's in brackets, it's meaning 5x times 5x, which we can be written as 5 times 5 times x times x. I want you to do exactly the same with this one. So again, stop the video, and as soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. Okay, I'm just going to make space. So it's try now 7. Okay, let's start with A. So it was 7A3B. Now I want to write it out in expanded form. So that will just be 7 times A times A times A times B. And that will be our final answer. The number B, it's 7A squared. So what will it be? 7 times A times A. As easy as that. And then number C. Oh, be careful for your brackets. 7A squared. Uh, we can write it as 7A times 7A. Which is actually just 7 times A times 7 times A. Or you can, it's not necessary, first write the numbers then follow by the letters. Okay. And then the last one, number D. Um, it's 7 A B squared. So that will be 7 times A B and again times A B. And if I write it out, it's 7 times A times B times A times B. Or I can write it in 7 times A times A times B times B. And that will be in expanded form.